Welcome to the press conference of the 62nd session of the International Rossum of Composers. Uh, this year's edition of the Rossum was co-organized by the International Music Council and Estonian Public Broadcasting, to whom we are most grateful for being such a wonderful host. The RSC was founded in 1954. Over the past decades, it has become one of the most important projects in promoting contemporary creation in music via radio broadcasting and has become a unique forum for professional exchange among radio music producers. Its central purpose, supported by the European Broadcasting Union, is to provide contemporary musical creations the largest, largest possible number of broadcasts worldwide. In its 62-year history, the RSC has revealed the emerge of many of the world's most gifted composers, whilst they are still young. Famous composers such as Penderecki, Luigi Nono and Murray Shaver has had their first international successes when they were prevented at the Rostum. This year's edition gathered contemporary music producers from 28 national radio networks from four continents, who presented 55 works composed within the five years preceding the rostrum. After the listening sessions, the assembly of delegates made a selection of the most distinctive, uh, distinctive words in two categories, general and young composers under 30. And I have the pleasure of announcing the winning work and winning composer in the general category. And this is from Norway, Jan Erik Mikkelsen, with his work Songer for Orchestra. I would like to invite Christine Querndok, delegate from Norwegian Broadcasting, uh, to maybe say a few words on the composer, on the work, and then we will listen to an excerpt from the work. And there's a microphone for you. Thank you very much. You can come. Okay, here. yes. <laughs> Yeah, hello everybody. Do you hear me? No? Yes? It's okay. I will say thank you very much. Uh, it's, uh, wow. <laughs> and I, I know Jan Erik Mikkelsen, the Norwegian composer, he will be very happy to hear this because uh, it means so much for the composers also. And it's a great list if you can see all the composers during the 62 years here um, in Rostrum. So thank you very much and um, we can listen to the work. It's Songer, uh, that means a song. It's a uh, uh, commission for uh, the Norwegian uh, radio orchestra and we hear it's from October last year. So thank you.
on behalf of the International Music Council and on behalf of my friend and colleague uh, Justine Merniac from French Radio, Radio France, I'm happy to announce that this composer will receive a commission, a joint commission from the IMC and Radio France for an à la breve composition. Now let me move on to the list of recommended works. As you know, you may know, uh, there are nine works that are recommended for broadcast by uh, the participating and other radios. I will give you the list uh, in no order. There will be an order later, an alphabetical order, but for the time being, um, thank you for your comp uh, for your understanding. From Austria, Katharina Clement with her work Drift. Also from Austria, Jorge Sanchez Tiong, Salt Water. From Croatia, I uh, know, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> I really do apologize. It's Estonia. Lisa Hirsch, Ascending, Descending. From Finland, Sampo Hapameki, Conception. From France, Martin, Martin Matalon, La Carta. From Hungary, Laszlo Sandor, Et transfiguratus est. From Portugal, João Seitil, Chacon. From Serbia, Branka Popovic, Lines and Circles. And from Slovenia, Vitu Zurai, Run Around. Congratulations. Well, now I have the pleasure to announce um, in the uh, category of composers under 30. And this year's uh, selected work is written of Matej Bonin, Slovenia, Kranko. So, please. Well, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, because uh, uh, this is a historical moment for Slovenia. After more than six decades, this is the first selected work for Slovenia. So, <laughs> I think, I think uh, it's, it's time to drink, and I'm so grateful to you that you could uh, actually recognize uh, this young, I think, very talented uh, guy. Matej is, I have to say, very sincere, very intelligent person. He studied with Uro Rojko in Ljubljana, then uh, went to Graz, and currently he's uh, studying with Beat Furer. He's mostly known for his electronic position, uh, maybe live electronic chamber project in Slovenia, but uh, this year I was offered the chance because from time to time a chief, uh, chief conductor of, uh, from the symphony orchestra of RTV comes and says, well, shall we play some new Slovenian music? And I say, oh, maybe Bondini is ripe for such a project. And I said, let's try, let's risk. And I was uh, amazed, I have to say, because uh, the what he's done is for the first uh, symphonic composition is completely, uh, I mean, really, uh, well, job well done. In this composition, he says he's uh, researching the initial outburst of uh, energy and, uh, I'm sorry, I'm a bit shocked. <laughs> of energy and uh, the, the, the point is how to build a consistent 
arc of music that evolves out of it, and I think is very, very, really, very successful in dealing with uh, details and the ideas with the symphony orchestra. So I'm very glad that you share this opinion with me. Thank you very much to all. Uh, also new uh, for this year is that the winner in this category, the selected piece, the composer gets a commission of the Swedish radio, and which is a part in the in the project is called Rossum Plus. More about it a little bit later on. Uh, and the composer is invited to come twice to Sweden, once when the commission is discussed, and one year or hopefully one and a half, you never know, uh, when, the, when the piece is ready and it's going to be performed and be there the last week, uh, final rehearsals and broadcasting. Uh, also, in this category, we have two uh, selected words, uh, recommended words, uh, also in not, no speci 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 specific order. Uh, the first one is Igor Silva, Portugal. And the title is, You Should Be Blind to Watch TV. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and the other one, I have to just turn my page. Yes. Is from Poland. It's uh, Mikolaj Laskowski, The Taika Left Me Unsatisfied. Um, these and other works we will be presented in concert and broadcast after the Rustin by the 28 participating radio stations, but also by more, thanks to the cooperation of the EBU. For instance, uh, the works presented at the 2014 Rostrum received nearly 600 broadcasts, one of the highest recorded uh, broadcast rates ever. The 2014 selected uh, works Word and Song Without Words by Janis Kriakides from the Netherlands and uh, Canzon de Bacci by Andrei Gishvinsky were broadcast by as many as 27 radio stations worldwide. And if I may again ask uh, Christine and Gregor to join us here, we would like to give them a medal for their wonderful choice. <laughs> and uh, say thank you also to the composer. <clears throat> Would you please come? The hosting Estonian uh, public broadcasting has prepared a rich and di diverse program for the delegates. Um, uh, the, one of the great things this week was, the, of course, the world premiere of the Alva Pert's Adam's Passion, an interview with Estonian composer Helena Tulve and performance at Estonian, uh, of Estonian folk musician Maria Nuut and Vox Clamantis, and finally, a Rostam Calling concert featuring the Estonian Na National Mill Choir. We also visited the Arvo Pert Center, and once again, let me, on behalf of all delegates, express our most heartfelt thanks to our host, especially to our dear, dear friend and colleague, Tia Teder. I would 
like to thank you all coming uh, to Estonia, visiting us and uh, having uh, so good, nice company. But uh, we meet um, not, not every day. The Russian people are very passionate people. So they like to cooperate. They are curious and they like music. It makes people very, very special. And of course, I would like to have our team. It was quite a small team. And there is Jürgen Kik, our technician, and uh, other colleagues from technical department, and also uh, Trin Hallas. Uh, she was absolutely fantastic. Please applaud a little bit. Her. <laughs> And I would like say to say one sentence to Estonians. Mis mind kõige rohkem üllatas Rostrumil see kord, oli see, kui meie külalised ütlesid, et Eestis on kõik nii vastutulelikud. Need on sõnad, mida me igapäev ei kuule, nii et äh, ma arvan, et me mõtleme endast natukene liiga kriitiliselt, me oleme tõesti vastutulelikud. Aitäh! Thank you all! The 2015 edition of the International Rostrum of Composers was the launching activity of the Rostrum Plus project, which is co-funded by the EU Creative Europe program. Rostrum Plus aims to promote contemporary classical music and strengthen this sector in Europe and beyond. It does so by exploring innovative strategies to develop audiences, promote new music, enhance the capacity and skills of radio professionals and inspire cooperation between musicians, higher music education institutions and broadcasting companies throughout Europe and across the globe. In order to bring the Rostrum Plus project into life, the International Music Council partners with public radios, cultural venues, higher music education institutions and the European Music Council, IMC's regional group, for Europe. As part of Rostrum Plus, this year's edition of the Rostrum saw the introduction of IRC Sound, a standalone listening workstation placed in this very ERR lobby, where Estonian public was given the opportunity to discover and comment on works presented in Studio One next door. Rostrum delegates and guests attended a presentation about the Estonian music scene here in the lobby in IRC Lab. This afternoon, a showcase session, Windows on the World, presented works from in Egypt and Indonesia, countries with a contemporary music scene, which is unfortunately not broadcast on radio programs. Delegates also discovered this afternoon, in another showcase session, two student compositions submitted by Rostrum Plus partner conservatoires from Birmingham and Belgrade. We also had a lot of discussions in the IRC forum. Christian Vogue, head of radio at the European Broadcasting Union, led a workshop on the future of the radio, which caused very vivid reactions. Moreover, delegates had then had the opportunity for professional exchange during open mic sessions, where challenges and opportunities for new music in the radio environment were in the center of our discussions. These exchanges brought to light the worrying number of specialist radio programs of new music and contemporary sound arts that have been cut or reduced in the past year across national public broadcasting networks. Delegates, therefore, adopted a statement of concern, which aims to be a wake-up call to radio management across public broadcasting. And I let our chair quote from this statement of concern. These programs represent the work of thousands of, of composers and musicians worldwide and are responsible for, for thousands of recordings annually of music otherwise unavailable. The music we and our colleagues share with more than one million regular listeners at the same time contributing to a growing cultural archive of quality music for the next generations. 
The sophisticated and adventurous end of contemporary music, art music has become an easy target for broadcast corporations responding to government funding pressures and looking for easy savings. Diversity, quality and risk-taking are the lifeblood of public music broadcasting. The public broadcasting mission requires putting artistic values and diversity of expression ahead of commercial considerations. Indeed, without a commitment to quality and diversity, there's no reason for publicly funded music broadcasters to exist. We call on public radio networks to reaffirm their commitment to the present and future health and the diversity of our shared art, musical culture by re reinstating and reinvigorating new musical programming at the stations. Thank you, Ebert. Our next rendezvous will be in May 2016 at the invitation of our colleagues from Polish Radio. And we had a wonderful presentation by our colleague Joanna Grotkowska from Polish Radio this morning. We will be hosted with the International Rostum of Composers 2016 in Wroclaw from May 16 to 22nd in combination with the European Forum on Music, which will be organized by another Rostrum Plus partner, the European Music Council. And we will be hosted by the, to be opened, National Forum on Music, the place to be in Wroclaw as of September 2015. So we look forward to welcoming all of you and even more in May 2016 in Wroclaw for the next International Rostrum of Composers. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.